Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to another video. In this one, let's learn how we can sculpt almost perfect butt. So I have seen many people doing very simple mistake, ignoring the anatomy of the back. So this is the main propaganda of this video. So let's talk about the proper shapes. Instead of uh, instead of explaining you on a already made butt or any real life model, it was a good idea to show you as well how you can model a uh, lower torso or I can say lower half of any female. So this is a demonstration of that, a little time lapse for that as well. So what I did, I just took a cylinder for that and <clears throat> excuse me, so in the cylinder I just masked out and extracted two legs. Then I am just using clay build up and everything, moving uh, shapes around, trying to get uh, the anatomy right. I am mostly using move and clay build up for that, smoothing out wherever I need, if I see that the surface is going too bizarre as modera. So in the beginning, all you have to focus is on the main shapes. Look at your reference, try to figure out what are the landmarks that you want. Do that and try to replicate that. So for the back, or in our case, buttocks, the landmarks are the cylinder, and all these guys, what you're seeing here, the rib cage, the uh, glove handles, and then the the bottom belly, the whole belly. They also always make it a little bit tiny, little bit less boring. What I'll do, I'll break the symmetry here. I won't be working on the symmetry. I'll just uh, give it the little bit of pose and then I'll move on like so always remember whenever you are sculpting anything any human form that what are your landmarks are or where by landmarks I mean the protrusion of bone the ending and uh, the beginning of bone so what bone does it just gives you in your body a protrusion like your elbow and the uh, bows that are connecting to your wrist so yeah watch out for those things if you are doing any torso the back or face as well it works everywhere also many people uh, does a huge mistake of making butt too round butts are not around they are round but not perfectly circular they are oval and they have a eardrop, teardrop kind of shape a raindrop if you imagine a raindrop in air it's like that but and bobas are like that as well so yeah remember that now all you have to do once you have the basic shape right uh, if you are creating a female shape make sure that you put uh, lots and lots of curves everywhere the model in all angle looks look curvy it should look curvy from all the angles so yeah, make sure you remember this point is very important and apply that in all your female models should be curvy and here is the tension point that i was talking about and the muscle flow goes like this so whenever you uh, sculpt your mesh of your buttocks this is the flow that you have to follow so that was the pelvic curly and from that the tension happens the bone is a pretty prominent so you have to give some structure to that remember that and you are good to go then here here came our tension point other points were ribs and abdomen 
so yeah sculpting that mainly using clay builder or whatever i have in zbrush the default brushes that is what i'm using they are the best here we go some kind of interest to the object now detaching the lower part to the from the abdomen because it is what it is that's how the muscle forms there they both are different muscles and this the silhouette of the butt cheeks that i was talking about don't make them totally rounded and remember the hourglass shape of a female body apply that this hourglass gives that body that sexy look that is required so yeah remember that and uh, you're golden So at this point it's just it's just finishing uh, putting more details if you want you can put alphas as well go hyper realistic for me that's fine i just wanted to show you how you can sculpt the buttocks as well as the things around it or the basic anatomy of how the lower back works for female adding a little bit of point of interest to break that uh, to break the point of uh, you know point of planes you can say that I'm just trying to create some kind of interesting things so that your eyes can rest on them it is it should not be flat any area of the body yeah put some of the dents or something here and there to give some point of interest but eyes can move and travel from one point to other creating the belly button which looks pretty sexy for female it's a longer and uh, uh, for male it's a little bit shorter for female it's a little bit longer that's all it's a little bit interesting for female as well putting that middle uh, ab divider line now carving in some apps using my uh, damp standard one well, of my favorite so yeah one more thing that uh, newbies does is that whenever they put some markings or anything they, they are very shy to smooth them out to blend them into the body it shows naturality you don't have to make the abs look crispy clean and everything just make them a little bit you know merge into the body i use smooth brush a lot in terms of abs it gives them naturality like here i made ribs but if i leave it like that it won't look good at all so i'll just blend it into the abs and body a little bit because fat fat builds up muscles and the interactions of fat and muscles and everything also this dynamic movement is important which overlaps a lot of things so keep that in mind and uh, make whatever looks cool to your eyes uh, watch your references collect all of them follow them it'll be good don't worry about it Yeah, putting all those landmarks that I was talking about the main bone structure of the body uh, don't miss them or oh, whatever fat you are putting in or the areas that you are covering with fat do not put any kind of fat on the bony landmarks that is important that shows uh, the structure and main form of the body so yes that's one thing And other is to improvise. Improvise on the reference that you're using. You don't have to totally stick to that. You can divert it a little bit. Make it more interesting, not a less interesting from what you're seeing. Make it better, 
than what you are getting it from reference so yeah you don't have to fall back from anywhere or any reference just have to improve that reference or add a little bit of pieces or something that makes your art amazing so yeah do that try that experiment it a little bit it'll give you good results and uh, that's pretty much it i hope you like the video make sure uh, to like it because i want to reach two more people and it helps me to do so also if you like it uh, you can hit subscribe to not miss it or anything in future also uh, remember what i said what is not a circular or spherically round it's a teardrop it's a water drop shape yes remember that remember all your landmarks pelvics and pelvis and uh, those rib cages your navel cavity everything um, yeah that's all cover the body with fat do not put all the muscles into it and here is the turntable